The summit will be held in a few hours' time. Let's get the latest on the build-up to the summit from Li Chengcheng, who is covering the meeting in Prague. Hello, Li Chengcheng. Hello, Wang Hong. Yeah. What's on uh, Premier Wen's agenda during this visit, and what are both sides expecting from the summit? As we're speaking now at this very moment, I think Premier Wen Jiabao's airplane is going to be touched down on the airport of capital, which is uh, of airport of Prague, which is the capital of Czech Republic. And then he will be traveling to the Prague Castle, which is the official residence of the, uh, of the Czech president, where the EU summit is going to be held. And this summit is the seventh time that it's going to be held between EU and the China, and on the Chinese side. And it is all delayed as, uh, because of this well-known reason. And uh, this summit is going to take place during the time of the economic slowdown globally. The global financial crisis has caused damage to the real economy, and the AH1N1 influenza is going to pose, is now posing a threat to both China and Europe. In this scenario, Premier Wen's attendance at the summit not only demonstrates China attaching good uh, great importance to the China-EU comprehensive strategic partnership, but also China's determination and sincerity to join hands with the EU to deal with global issues such as the financial crisis. The summit will also help stabilize China-EU relationship and strengthen its favorable trend of development. Uh, European Commission President Jose Man uh, Manuel Barroso said earlier uh, that the European Union will continue open and a constructive dialogue with China as both sides are committed to comprehensive strategic partnership. But also said in a press conference uh, of the China-EU summit before, uh, in Prague, before this summit in Prague, he said that we will continue our open and constructive dialogue, building on the successful visit of Premier Wen to Brussels at the end of January. Both the EU and China are committed to our comprehensive strategic partnership. European Commissioner for External Relations, Senator Ferraro Warden, also said on Tuesday that the EU is interested in deepening dialogue with China on all issues. Back to you, Wang Hong. Uh, China has been pushing for the EU to acknowledge China as a market economy. How important is this issue to China-EU trade? Uh, of course, this issue will uh, be on the agenda of the talk uh, between the leaders on both sides. And there will be more than, it is said that there will be more than five agreements signed in the area of economics, science and technology research, climate change, cooperation at the summit. The EU is now China's largest trading partner, while China is the second largest of the EU. Trade volume between the two sides grew to 425.58 billion US dollars in the year 2008, an increase of 19.5% over the previous years, according to China's customs. As it is promised by the leaders of the two sides, both China and the EU will try to strengthen the economic ties and pull through this financial crisis. China has already sent the mission of economical and trade promotion to EU countries earlier this year and signed agreements and contracts worth more than 20 billion US dollars. Another mission will be coming to Europe next month, according to the Minister of Commerce, Mr. Chen Deming. These are all signs from the Chinese side to show the willingness of cooperation with the EU. Back to you, Wang. Thank you very much, Li Qingqing.